Now, if this guy stops being corrupt, Kenya can be fixed. Or if this guy gets out of power, by whatever means, the corruption in Kenya will reduce. There's only one problem about removing this guy. So, no, now we are talking about removing the problem. The problem is William Ruto. There's only one problem about removing this guy. Removing this guy is dealing with the symptoms of a disease without dealing with the root cause. Ni kama kukunywa painkiller. Because before you remove William Ruto, you have to ask yourself, who put him there? The person who put him there is someone called a voter. Now, if you remove William Ruto without fixing this guy called the voter, you will bring another Ruto called William Ruto. If you remove William Ruto without fixing this guy called the voter, you bring another guy called William Ruto Pro Max. Ukitoa William Ruto bila kufixi shida, you love a William Ruto Pro Max. Because we are a democracy. Murura Kibas was hinted out on how to stop corruption and one of them is by removing the top leader of the country through votes come 2027 and that's one of the surest way according to Morara Kebaso of having better governance and a corrupt free nation but why does he always accuse the president that is very corrupt was as the president as the president have a bad or proven corruption record in the past years or the previous times what do you think about that statement by Morara Kebaso? so Morara Kebaso using the whiteboard explains on how corruption is really killing the kenyan economy and how this cancerous behavior is eating down every corner of development in this country at the moment as the country is gabbling with bad governance poor leadership and corruption a lot is being experienced, especially to the common Mwanainchi who would feel like the government they voted him has betrayed them from what they promised, especially to the young Mamambogas and the Boda Boda, that they will be the base of the very, very inclusive government, which was to be started. Even the religious pact was inside. But at the moment, even the religious pact is one of the very first people to say that the president has neglected them. Now that the government question is being discussed, left, right, and center, what do you think is going to happen in the next few days as we are approaching a new era in politics of Kenya.